Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about 20 minutes. Now, when I say live, in case maybe you're new to these videos, this is not a situation where everything has already been recorded and now I'm coming back and doing a voiceover or some sort of post commentary. Nothing like that. I'm recording myself, seeing the information live for the very first time. So if you want raw thoughts, raw reactions, raw emotions, you will get that with the video. If you want nicely edited video, nicely scripted video, you won't get that here, but you uh, will get a nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader and how day trading can play out. Uh, quite a bit of uh, action going on around the markets right now. I think, I don't know. I think I'll be watching CCIV out of the opening gates. However, that is definitely subject to change because again, these are live. So who knows what's gonna happen over the next 20 minutes from now to the open. Maybe even a pre-market trade somewhere. We'll just have to sit back and see. But as of now, that is a game plan. So I'll go ahead and pause and uh, get things rolling again if something else pops up. So what I do like here is CCIV. 2665 upside break point here in pre-market. So what you're seeing here is uh, my private community that I offer. If you're not familiar at claytrader.com, I do offer a private uh, chat room community and that's just you know how it works. So trying to kill a couple birds with one stone, just document my thought process right here and then also show you how uh, the chat room works in case I know some people are always wondering, all right, I'm thinking about joining Clay, but how exactly does it work? Well, there's a little example there. So looking for 2665 right now, uh, it's you know down below 2640, but that could always change. So if something comes about in that regards to that one, I'll get it rolling again. But if not, I'll just go ahead and pause. Well, the problem with pre-market is sometimes things appear to not be going your way, so you'll walk away or whatever, and <laughs> that's what happened here. Uh, you can see CCIV, uh, which was what we were just talking about, now pushing potentially a $27 break here. And again, as you saw, that was a 2665. Uh, entry point there that was alerted. So I, I, I totally miss it, wasn't even around, wasn't paying attention. Uh, but for any of you members that watch these videos and are watching this, uh, congratulations to you. You got a fantastic uh, move here. Curious if it can get up through 27 here because that would be a kind of nice little cherry on top there. But uh, either way, in the midst right now, a fantastic move. Um, and you're not alone. If you've ever identified something in pre-market trading and then you ultimately miss it because, and there it goes, uh, up to 2707 that fast, but you just miss it because I don't know, it's pre-market, nothing's really, you know, nothing, things can appear. And like I said, this one actually pulled back. So this is what caused me to be like, all right, well, uh, let me let me go just see what's going on with my, you know, the kids, my family. And then all of a sudden, you know, it did recover back up nicely and, and, and totally just ended up getting that break, but it was looking kind of sketchy. Um, and uh, that's just kind of how it goes. So you're not alone. You're not alone if you've ever identified something solid in pre-market. And then you turn your, you know, back around for, you know, a second, a minute, a couple minutes, and oh, missed it. But anyways, just wanted to update that. But anyways, congratulations to members. Markets open up here any second now. Markets are open, watching GME out of the opening gates here. Absolutely crazy craziness on this one. Got to think that this thing would want to make at least a run up to the $100 mark, but really not a whole lot of movement on it right now. Let's go over to CCIV. Oh, wow. Now that one's over 28. No, I take that. What in the world? Look at that bid. That bid right there is at 28, but the actual price in the 26 is. Well, that is some goofiness. Like I said, there was some weird stuff going on. What's going on with PLTR? Oh, quite the move on this one. <clears throat> and GME off screen. Not a, not a big rant. In fact, volume is. The PLTR just continuing to grind. All right, what I'm gonna do here. Oh, there's not even any shares to short, so never mind. GME, yeah, look at the volume. Volume is just almost non-existent. 
mRNA. Let's see what's going on with the, this one here. Yeah, I'm going to stay away from GME. I don't, that feels like too much of a gamble right now with the volume, and it feels like it could just snap any direction. And look at CCIV, that 28 is still just sitting there. 27 does still look like an interesting potential area for a break, but even that. kind of bizarre I'm almost questioning is my broker or something off but I mean everything seems to be all right BB or not BBY I want BB now that one's pulling back all right I'm gonna go ahead and pause and see if I can find something and there it is. Yeah, something goes, look at this. Look at this big volume bar all of a sudden and in the downwards direction. That's why I just want to stay away from it. Now, to be fair, it might recover, but at that point, it was just, something just wasn't quite relevant. I mean, look at that. The volume was just not there. And now all of a sudden made the comment, I feel like it could go anyway, and it happened to go down and now all of a sudden it's going to get halted to the downside. So, um, yeah, I, I don't want to say, I, I'm glad I listened to my instincts because that wasn't quite instincts. That was just, you know, observing, you know, the technical chart there. But uh, yeah, so now GME is officially halted. Eight fifty two. But Tesla so jumpy. Eight sixty is actually a super interesting level on Tesla. In fact I gotta get that alerted. Resistance. Should move if it can break. I mean, look at this. What is? Yeah, this Tesla is just untradeable right now. Look at this. I'm glad I'm capturing it on video here, but well, it's where there's goofy prints going through when the price isn't. Yeah, is this the market being goofy? Is this my broker? Well, it's at 860. The true price is at 860. I don't know why it keeps coming down to that 852 mark. Because you watch level twos over here. Yeah, so I mean, leave me a comment. Was your, if you can see what's going on. But yeah, it keeps acting like it's coming down to that area. But you look over here at the actual bid and the bids are up there in the 859s. But yeah, 860 once again, check it out. Being a very, very stubborn level. That's right where the price right there. You can see the high, 860. Wow, this is a very, very bizarre morning. Like I said, I don't know if there's something going on at the exchanges or if it's, it might very well be me. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to, uh, and look at that, just like that, boom. Broke and up $3.50, up $4. But still, this is just throwing me off. It's, for me, I, I don't know what to make of all that. I suppose I could have just went with the level twos and ignored the chart, but. Anyways, there is the, uh, I mean, the alert I made to the, the, the members. 860 is being approached, a super stubborn resistance should move if it can break. And yeah, it moved big time. But I was not able to take part of it. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. I mean, wow, we're at eight minutes in this video and there's not, I don't know, but this is actually really unique in, unique uh, price action to be capturing here and PLTR just continues to go. Wow. Maybe look to buy a pullback on this one since I can't do, no shorts anyway, CCIV just totally turned around. And look at that, now all of a sudden the volume starts to come to this one. This is some strange action. In fact, so much so that this, this thing could very well be headed into a halt territory. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Watching this 3865-ish area here on BBBY for a short. 
But again, these level, and I've talked in the chat room, everybody's having the same issue, so it's not me. But just trying to see if this thing wants to break down through this 3850-ish area. Or it could be a potential interesting upside along around that uh, 41 mark. But we'll see what happens with it. 39, now kind of that area that seems to be very interesting if it can break down through there. So watching closely. Confirmation is key, <clears throat> excuse me, is key though. And yeah, I'm just not really even watching the chart now because the chart seems to be off, but with the uh, level twos and price data. So again, 39 is that level that looking to see it break down through. Would love to see it actually go green again. Green candle then come back down. Yeah, 39. Is that level that I'm watching very closely? I will go ahead and pause for now. Okay. It's just gonna move so jump, yeah, like that. Okay, so watching 39. In there at 38, 89. Let's see if we can get this breakdown here. Yeah, 3880-ish. Seems to be that level. Knocking on 39 again. Still, 39 doesn't quite seem to be the area. It's that 3880-ish area. But getting down below 39 is definitely gonna be a very important first step. You know, 39, there we go, okay. See, 38.80, there we go. Wow, it only went four cents. Come on, break, get going. Back above 39. See if it wants to give it another go. All right, pulled out majority of my position. I, I don't know if it'll go or not now. So still have 100 shares in the event that it does go, but I just don't know. So I'm, I gotta mitigate my risk here. Out there, $62 loss. I'm still interested if it comes back down, but to me, I think it's more so that 3860 range that may be the actual confirmation point, but I'm just not gonna risk having this thing. You know, keep on going up against me. So I'll, I, $62 is something I can live with. But yeah, 38, yeah, 3860. I'm gonna watch it. I mean, it's still a super interesting setup. It's just a question of, can that 3860 be broken? Okay, what? Watching 3860 very, very closely. I'm not trusting myself. Yeah, 3860. And now look at that, bam. Right back up to 39. Wow, that was a crazy move. 
That was crazy. You'll have to scroll back and watch that, but it was at right at 6.38.61, and then that fast, and literally a blink of an eye, it was up to 39 on the bid again. This is... Oh, wow, what is going on with Tesla on that setup? What in the world? Is this real? Holy smokes, 875. All right. What te what kind of range is that, Tesla? Is this just the market being goofy or what? But that is one tight, tight little range up there. All right, I will go ahead and pause. Okay, coming down to that level again, 3860. I am not gonna take it on this candle though. So I'm either gonna get left behind or I'm gonna get a nice little confirmation point here, but I'm not gonna take it on this candle. So for the next basically 45-ish seconds, this candle needs to stay above 3860. So that could be a bad choice on my part. It might leave me behind, but that's just what I feel comfortable with. So I'm not gonna take it on this candle. What a level low. I'll stay above it. Ow. Maybe it'll recover back upwards or is this gonna be the actual final true break? Well, in all, in all honesty, I can't say I'm that disappointed right now. That was a very weak breakdown compared to what I thought it would be. It may still go, but Yeah, I, I thought it would be I thought it would go much quicker than what it actually did. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and try to find something else. Quick little update here on BBBY. It's been a, a few minutes and you can see that that breakdown just never yielded anything at all. In fact, maybe just maybe this thing's getting ready to bounce back up to test 40 if not above. Uh, still may come down, but um, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not really interested in it any longer based on this current price action. It's just not uh, behaving like I, I really thought it would. So in, in hindsight, I'm, I'm glad I, I waited and did not take it on that candle because that, that one didn't really yield anything at all. What's going on, RKT? Just, wow. And that one's essentially straight up. So yeah, we, it is 9.55, 25 minutes in, and this has been one of the more bizarre mornings in a while, um, and I'm down $63. Currently watching 92 on GME for an upside breakpoint. Uh, will it get up there? I don't know, but interesting area on the chart. So that's the current game plan. I'll keep you updated. What in the world? All right, now I fully admit, totally frustrated. I turn my back for literally, like literally three seconds. And then look at that move. To be fair though, yeah, I need to keep be, be realistic though. I don't even know if I was watching it, could I have gotten that move? Because that was insane. That went from 89.70 to 96 in almost a blink of an eye. So I guess maybe that, not maybe, it does make me feel better. If I'm being totally honest with myself, I don't know if that was actually a, a practical entry point because it happened so fast. I mean, any members that got in on it, well done. Uh, but I didn't see it happen. But I, like I said, given I only turned my back for, Two to three seconds. That might have been. Yeah, this morning just keeps getting goofier and go one of the truly a goofy morning of trading. Watching forty one break here on BBBY. Never did go to the downside there. Maybe this thing is getting ready to to make a push to the upside here. So watching forty one. And if, if, what? All right, I, I gotta go back to GME. Look at this. Now look at it. Up and then straight back down. What a savage, savage move. I mean, fantastic looking breakout right there and then next minute, gone. Wow, there are some people that just got 
And rightfully so. I mean, that, it's not like they were gam like randomly entering or choosing to enter in at that point, but. Not quite at 41. And Tesla just continues to grind higher and higher. All right, I'm pausing. Watching 892 here for a short. Want to see it broken. Missed it. Man, I even gave myself 50 cents wiggle room too. I was willing to chase at 50 cents and I still I still didn't get it. <laughs> A goofy morning filled with misses and that one yeah. Like I said, I even gave myself 50 cents when you uh, right there. I wanted in at 9 or I was wanting the break of 9892 and right there you can see my price was at 89150, meaning I was willing to chase the price down. 50 cents and I, st I still didn't get the thing. I'm gonna have to try to maybe just throw out some orders and just let the, the price come to me because this is just simply not working trying to pull back here. GME, another interesting formation here, but right there, that 92. I'm more so right around 9150-ish. Maybe this is the real time it goes. I'm watching 92. No, I don't want to do that. That's just me being frustrated for putting myself in what I feel to be a very gambling situation. I need to be careful of the voices in my head right now because of that. I mean, and I, I could be wrong. Maybe that's maybe that action right there is not justifying me. No, but I do like BBY here. Uh, let's see, forty-three fifty-five to go short. So let's see if the price can come up to me at forty-three fifty-five. But I feel this could be a, a fake breakout here, in fact. Yeah. Now, I'd like more than 500 shares, but this would at least get my feet wet. Step one is, can it get up above 43? Okay, there is the break. In 4355. My opening entry point. All right, hovering around there too long. Let's go to 43.65. Again, I would like more than 500 shares. I'd like to try to build a bigger position in this one. But step one is it's got to get up there and hit me at 43.65. How long is this video? This thing's going to be uh, 24 minutes. It actually felt like it'd be longer than this. Okay, let's go to 43.75 now. Okay, there's a move. Come on, hit me, hit me. Good. And they're for my opening allotment. Try for some at 
Ah, uh, well. Would have been nice had it gone up there and get me at 44.35, but it decided to just give me the, the $75 move, or the $75, excuse me, uh, profit. But I, hey, at least I'm back, uh, back in the green by $12. <laughs> And you know, I do what is known as the be done in 30 approach, uh, which means I wanna on average be done every day around 30 minutes. And right now it's 10, 14, well, let's call it 10, 15. So been at it 45 minutes. So I'm above average right now and at $12. And it has been, it has been a grind lately. I have no problem, it's 43, 43. That could be a good short if this candle here can stay above it. But am I just, so right now I gotta always be questioning, well, GME just went. I do still feel fine about that, but I mean, look at that, boom, boom. There it went again through 92, but it's just too sketchy, too sketchy, so. Well, you know, these mornings happen and it did not start off well at all. And sometimes that will happen. I mean, it, whether, I, I think the exchanges had something wrong and goofy going on, but, uh, you know, and I don't want to come across like, and had that not gone on, I'd be up $10,000 right now. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it was just a bizarre start. And then BBBY ultimately, I mean, and this will, this will sound, this will sound arrogant, but I mean, you've seen me try it. It hasn't been very flawless, but in all actuality, very happy with the way I played, played BBCY or BB, BBBY, uh, as the price, I mean, you saw it. it. I wanted to wait for that one candle. And to, to be fair, had I not waited for that candle, and I thought I was gonna get left behind, but no, not only did it, I, I not get left behind, it actually just continued on up. So that was definitely the right choice to make. Just give it one more candle, because that would have saved me. And then also, when I lightened up the load and ultimately took that $62 loss, that could have been a whole lot bigger. Uh, so upon reflection, as I, and as I talk out loud to myself and you, Today I'm actually quite proud with how I played myself. Yeah, that Tesla miss was that that stung a little bit. Ooh, this is interesting. Get back above 44. 44, yeah. Okay. Nope, not going to. All right. So I am uh the more I think about the day, especially now that I have hindsight, right? Because a lot of times hindsight will cause you to think, oh man, I could be doing so much better. In this case, hindsight is telling me, wow, you could be doing you could be doing a whole lot worse, Clay. Yeah, 43, I'm gonna get that alerted at this point. BBBY, 43, flush point, one, two minute. To me, this feels like a 43 can be broken to the, oh my goodness, GME. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, did that break down through forty three and with a false break? Low of no, nope, that was a low of forty three oh five. I'm willing to chase it down five cents. But gotta see 43 fail. Again, I'm willing to chase it five cents. I'm willing to get in as low as 42.95. But I definitely want confirmation on this one. In at 42.95. And all out there for a quick, quick scalp. Very nice, very nice. So that puts me at 142. It's 1018, been at it for 48 minutes. Look at GME go. A little bit of a pullback here. Wow, what a move. Well, I am gonna go ahead and wrap things up. I, I need a, I have actually have a, so here's a quick plug. I do offer a, a, a podcast, iTunes, Spotify, the Stock Trading Reality Podcast, and I have, a, or I have a guest that I need to interview uh, here very soon, so I do need to move on with my day. Uh, but today, 
I'm actually very proud of myself. I think I played it as best as I could given the circumstances, uh, especially with my risk management decisions on BBBY. Uh, to be fair, that one time when I was waiting for that extra candle, sometimes I'll, you'll just get left in the dust. It'll be, oh, I should have taken it then. But had I taken it then, that would have been a, a loss. That would have been a potentially painful loss there. Um, but again, because the market's always give and take. And just, I'm kind of stalling a little bit so we can watch GME go, but look at that thing. But the market can be give and take. Uh, so, and then also my best decision though was to reduce position size and then just take that that $62 loss. Because think about it, by, by keeping the hole at only $62, I am ended up walking away with 142. I mean, not my best morning at all. And if you've watched any of my past trade videos, you know that. Uh, but like I said, given the circumstances, how goofy things were, I'm very happy with uh, how this morning actually turned out. And I, I made some good decisions there and decisions that uh, worked out in my favor. But uh, so if you've ever had any mornings like this, you, you know, use hindsight. Remember, you can always use hindsight to say, could it have been worse? Mostly, and I'm included in this, we use hindsight to be like, oh, I could have made such and such more. Oh, I would be up that amount had I, and you're using hindsight. But remember, a good confidence booster is using hindsight to be like, wow, had I not been disciplined, wow, had I not honored my risk you know, protocols and my system rules for risk, whoo, wow, it could be a whole lot worse right now. Remember, you can use hindsight in that way too, and that is a, a very powerful way to do it. But I'm gonna move on, like I said with my day. Real quick before I go, a couple quick requests. I mean, if you're still here right now, seriously, thank you. It's We're over 30 minutes in, I consider us friends now. Uh, even though I've just been talking to who knows who, I, I really feel like if you're still here after this amount, we're friends. But a couple quick requests from me. These are not the easiest videos to make. I have to talk to you. I have to think about what I'm gonna say to you. I have to think about what I wanna do for myself. I have to actually enter in my alerts. I have to think about what alerts I wanna make for the community. I have to type in those alerts for the community. And all that going on all at once. Not easy, but totally doable. So I just wanna know, is this still worth my time? Is it worth my time to do these videos? If it is, two ways or two things to do to communicate that to me in a very quick way. Hit the like button, leave a simple comment. It could be a thumbs up emoji. Could be something as, it could be a banana emoji. It could be any sort of emoji you want, but anything, hitting the like and the comment communicates to me, yeah, Clay, I, I know there's a lot going on for these, but it's worth your time, please keep doing it. And I, and I will keep doing it as long as I know that there's interest. And then also check out the channel as a whole. There's a good variety of videos on the channel. So check those out and hopefully you decide to hit that subscribe button as I would love to have it as a subscriber to the channel. But yeah, get out there, remember, use hindsight in a way to also manage, say, hey, I manage risk and try to encourage yourself through that way also. Everybody take care. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.